Uh, hi, I'm Nikki Kiyohoho, CEO and co-founder of the Direct Selling World Alliance and Coach Excellence School. I'm so happy that you've joined in with us today to learn more about our brand new addition to our app and the website that is going to have a lot around finances and wealth. We want you to grow your wealth through the direct selling profession. All of us have met people along the way that have had a great business and they're doing millions of dollars in sales and maybe the company goes away and they lose everything. That's not what we want to be known for. We want to be known for creating wealth over time and maintaining our wealth so that we can give back and do more for our world and our community. So DSWA partnered with a company called Bernstein. And we chose this company very carefully because they work with people that are starting out and learning about saving $10 a month to billionaires. They can do everything in between. They have a lot of content that they've worked on through the years that they have available to us, whether it's on their website or the things that we're going to be adding inside of the DSWA app and that you'll be receiving in one of the push notifications and you can go back and look at it. And if you have the upgraded app, you can even share that with your teams. So this is a big time for us to bring this level of education to you through Bernstein. I wanna tell you a little bit about Bernstein. In the world where most investment managers look alike, Bernstein Private Wealth Management is a firm like no other. They have investors, not, not intermediaries or middlemen, who work directly with the clients to solve today's wealth and investment strategy challenges. Their advisors, whose global reach and more than 50 years of service give them exceptional insights into the goals, questions, and aspirations of their clients. Clients who choose Bernstein often do so because they're looking for an advisor who understands what wealth means to them, and they can provide individual attention, and who can take design and maintain custom portfolios that help them reach their financial goals without taking excessive risk. They understand us. They've taken the time to understand the direct selling profession as a whole. And, and that was why we chose this firm. And I'm so excited to introduce you to Thomas Neely. And I wanna tell you a little bit about Tom because he is quite an interesting character. The first time I met Tom, I watched him from afar because he was talking to billionaire women. It was pretty fun with all this money in this room. And I got to be a fly on the wall and, and watch this. I watched how he connected with the people. And this happened to have been a women's organization. So, you know, I don't know about you, but if you've ever gone in to speak to somebody about your finances and they kind of put the little lady on the side and they talk to the man, that's not how this is. And that's what I love about it. He works with both men and women and couples to support us in what they're doing. So he advises high net worth families, entrepreneurs, celebrities, and foundations on a wide range of financial planning and investment objectives. I am so excited for you to meet my friend, Tom, and he'll introduce you to Kristen, who's also part of the DSWA Ohana now, and you're all gonna get to know them over the upcoming years. Thanks, Tom, for being with us. Thanks, Nikki. And it's, it's absolutely great to be here. Kristen and I are really excited to take you through um, some initial slides. And, you know, I, I love how you and I met Nikki. It's the perfect segue into tonight's video. Um, or surrounded by a group of entrepreneurs where we were commenting and helping them, you know, in some cases start, grow, and ultimately scale their businesses. And you and I both know, I know we love working with entrepreneurs. Um, we love the the, the excitement, the passion, the creativity that always seems to be there, no matter the profession or the industry. In my practice working with clients, I've shifted a large part of my practice to working directly with strong women to help them achieve financial independence and wealth over time. Now, when you and I met and we started talking about DSWA organization, it became very clear that there are a lot of strong women within the organization as well. And uh, Kristen and I are very excited to serve the community and support it through um, personalized financial advice and education. The video tonight 
is the start of a relationship that we hope can uh, evolve over time. And we are here to support the success of all of DSWA's business owners and entrepreneurs. Now, before we start walking through just a handful of slides this evening, I wanted to introduce you to my partner and colleague, Kristen Dalton. When Nikki and I were first um, talking about how we could collaborate together, I immediately thought of Kristen as the perfect partner here, given her background and the types of clients that she works with on a daily basis. So Kristen, welcome. And could you just share a little bit uh, of color on your practice? Sure. Thanks, Tom. And thanks, Nikki, for including me in this really exciting in initiative. So I've spent over a decade helping companies first and then families through all sorts of transitions and evolutions. Some of these changes were expected, like a retirement or business owners that were selling their business. Some of these changes though were unexpected, such as a death in the family or a divorce. But the thing that I found that was common amongst all of those families is that when they came together to make thoughtful financial decisions, that allowed them to create confidence and empowerment for the next stage of their lives. So Tom and I are really excited to partner with DSWA to provide you with the tools and advice that you need to navigate the future. So Tom, now that we've gotten these introductions out of the way, why don't you share a little bit more with us about what we're going to talk about here today? No, absolutely. And so if we could, yep, here comes the slide deck. So I have to start by saying that as the father of a teenage daughter who was basically stuck at home this summer due to COVID, and as a result has started her own online retail business with a friend, I'm convinced she will be a business owner one day. And one of the things that drew me to DSWA was the prominence of women. So in this first slide, I think it shows some really interesting data about the roles men and women play in managing assets. It's often not an equal role. And Kristen and I see this a lot when we're meeting with one half of a household, for example, and we'll ask where the other half is, and we were told that he or she is not the decision maker. Now, many business, busy families divide household responsibilities, which makes total sense. But it's also really important for everyone to have a role in the conversation when it comes to finances and investing for the future. So the slide you're looking at right now is interesting in that it shows women already influence nearly 40% of all wealth in this country and solely control a staggering 5.1 trillion in assets. That's trillion with a T. And the next slide, I would call this a true wake up call. So if we can flip to that, you can see here that 80% of men die married, meaning 80% of women die single. And widows tend to outlive their husbands by an average of 14 years. Adding to that 50% of marriages can end in divorce. It's, it's incredible. 95% of women will be the family's primary financial decision maker at some point in their lives. So if you defer learning about managing wealth until much later in life, it could result in a missed opportunity to really be on top of your finances and to ensure that you maximize your wealth creation, including what you ultimately leave behind for your children or your favorite charities. Those are really incredible statistics, Tom. And, and I find it so interesting how natural it is for many women to defer to their spouses or even friends or family members to make financial decisions. I mean, looking around DSWA, there's no shortage of smart, educated women. So we dug a little bit deeper into these numbers to really understand what was behind it. The same independent study that you just referenced found that women passed the literacy, financial literacy test at the same rate as men did. But as you can see on this display here, a confidence gap exists. One third of women would give themselves a perfect score when it comes to managing debt or money in general. Only a third. And it, that number is considerably less um, when you look at investing or generating income for retirement. Two um, actions that actually often come hand in hand. So it's important to keep in mind that this is women's perception of themselves, not the actuality. But it's clear that both men and women have lots to learn. Neither of them scored perfectly in the financial literacy study. As a global investment manager, 
when we saw this study, we realized that we needed to help not only women build confidence, but individuals fill their financial literacy gaps. So the next slide we displays what exactly we're doing about this at Bernstein. So first and foremost, when we started this conversation, we pointed out the role that women play in uh, finances, but we recognize that everyone is unique. Every situation is unique. For example, I look at my own family. I'm a stepmom of three teenagers. I know that every family looks differently. I look around at my grandparents and I had one set of grandparents that passed away before they were the age of 60 and another set that's still alive and well, in, well into their 90s. So we recognize that every family needs to plan for their individual circumstances. So we always work with individuals as individuals. We don't use formulas or algorithms to provide advice, but we really dive deep into what makes that family tick and what the gaps are and where we can provide unique expertise. Furthermore, we look for opportunities to encourage dialogue amongst families with everybody involved. Depending on what your family looks like, that can mean both spouses, it can involve your children, your parents, or anyone else that's a key figure in your family. We've also developed investment solutions that support not only women, but people of color in communities that are in need of financial support so that our clients can apply their values to their investment strategy. Nikki shared with us that so many of you, both men and women, are so focused on running your business and your household that it's rare that you have a chance to come up for air and put together a sound financial plan. So we've created this partnership to provide you with resources for both your business and your family as they evolve and transition over time. Tom, knowing what we know, how do you work with clients to ensure that no one is left behind and that these families are able to create a sound financial plan? Well, I think if you look at this next slide, it kind of tells, tells our story, um, which is the framework for how we work with our clients. I would say that um, clients who choose Bernstein do so because they're looking for an advisor who understands what wealth means to them. Someone who can provide individual attention and who can design and maintain custom portfolios that will help them reach their financial goals without taking excessive risk. So I'm gonna walk you through this, this wheel here on the page. We have a process that we call deep discovery. And this is where we spend significant time understanding each client's beliefs about wealth and what it means to them. And so if I look at the top left here, box one, setting goals, I'll give you an example on a, of a long-term goal, for example. A client, client may choose their highest priority to be retiring as early as they possibly can, but have enough wealth to support their lifestyle for the rest of their lives. And we'll build an investment plan around achieving that goal. On the other hand, you could have a client who has as their number one priority, the ability to fully pay for their children's college education. So the kids can graduate without student debt and the retirement or spending needs for that client may be secondary um, for sure. And so you need to be able to build these customized models and plans that focus on each client's goals. So, you know, for example, a short-term goal could be something, you know, simple like building a little nest egg um, for something that could be unforeseen. You want to make sure you've got some money set aside so that it can carry you through some of those tougher times. It could be, you know, saving for a new car, you know, and, and this is money I would say you need, uh, call it within the next maybe 12 months or so. Intermediate term goals, well, that could be a number of things too. Maybe there's a, a first home purchase coming or maybe there's a first child you know, to arrive in the next several years. Well, that would have its own strategy. And then, as I said, the long-term goals. So once the goals are defined, then it gets really fun because we can strategize and execute on an investment plan that will reach each of those goals. So using the, the examples I was just speaking of, you know, short-term uh, plans, if you will, that should be in cash, money market, maybe some high grade investment bonds, but you're not going to want to put that money in the stock market because we don't want to have the risk that the markets go up and down the way they certainly are today. We want to have that stability. If on the other hand, you have an intermediate goal, call that, you know, two to five years from now, 
Well, then we're going to want to have a combination of stocks and probably bonds as well. And, and, and how much of a stock or a bond will really depend on you know, one client to the next. How comfortable are you with risk? What are the exact amounts you think you're going to need, et cetera? Now, for the long-term plan, there we're going to want to build a portfolio that is primarily equities because over time, that is the fastest and most reliable way to build wealth over time. And so we put all of this together in a very coordinated way to build one overall plan with these multiple sub-strategies underneath. I hope it doesn't sound crazy complicated because honestly, it's not. It's just we, we're very holistic and thoughtful in the way we plan for our clients' future. And the last thing I would say is that box on the bottom left, the monitor. So we build these models and plans and we put them in motion, but by no means would we call this a set it and forget it approach. We're gonna update it anytime a client has a meaningful change in their life. Could be an unexpected windfall of, of, of earnings, um, could be a, a job change, or there's a number of things that can happen. And we'll just update the plan so it always reflects the current goals and visions for our clients. On the next slide, I wanna give you just a little primer, if I could, on some of the topics we're gonna to be speaking on through podcasts, videos like this, um, and written articles. We have dozens and dozens of things we can't wait to share with the group, but just to hit you know, a few of them here. So starting with debt, you know, we'll talk about things like, for example, maybe you have a lot of credit card debt, but you're also planning to buy a new home. You know, how should you think about that debt in the context of a major purchase coming around the corner? And then there's life events. You know, the rainy day planning, as an example, is so important. You know, we know everyone gets a lemon or two thrown at them from time to time. We want to make sure our clients are prepared for it and have the type of liquidity cushion that can carry through till things, you know, are back on track. We'll talk about life insurance. We may even bring a life insurance expert in because we don't offer life insurance at the firm. Um, but we know a lot about it, but we'd probably bring an expert in and we'll talk about life insurance to start, you know, how much is enough? How do you think about sizing it? And insurance goes far beyond just life insurance. You know, what about if you're the breadwinner for the family, you know, you really should consider things like short term and long term disability. And we'll talk about that as well. Taxes. Taxes is one of the worst topics we ever have to deal with. But you know what? There's lots of great planning opportunities that we want everyone to be aware of, especially as you know, entrepreneurs and, and business owners as you are. There are so many opportunities to you know, take expense deductions and defer income and really maximize your bottom line. You know, at, at Bernstein, we're very proud of the performance we give our clients, but we, we like to be judged not by just the top line returns. We like to be judged by the after tax returns because at the end of the day, it really only matters, as we say, what you get to keep. It's not how much you earn. It's what you get to keep after taxes. And that's what we can help you do as well as you plan your business to making sure the government doesn't get a penny more of taxes than they have to. And the last topic I'll mention here is just retirement savings. There are many different types of vehicles out there for saving, whether it's a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA. Um, if, if it's part of a company, it could be a 401k. Well, we'll take those apart one plan type at a time, and we'll, we'll show you the pros and the cons to make sure that you put the most efficient and, and plan together with the best long-term outcomes. Thank you so much, Tom. You've got so many great ideas of what's happening and what's going on that it, in this whole area. I, think, I can't wait for our, our members to be able to get this kind of content on a regular basis. And that's why we're actually pushing out these, this information through the app. And so you want to get signed up for that right away if you're not and start to utilize it and you'll have access to people. I know that, you know, this company is a big company and we chose it because they are around the world. And I'm going to let Kristen tell you a little bit more about where they're located and how they're doing this type of business. Thanks, Nikki. Um, just like you, we are located in over 25 countries around the world. We have 19 offices here in the United States. Um, both Tom and I happen to be based in our New York office, though these days it's been a while since we've seen the inside of our uh, formal offices and we've been working remotely. Um, to give you an idea of the depth of our resources, our firm manages more than $550 billion 
that we've gathered over the last 50 years. We at Bernstein take a research-driven process that really resonates across our firm. You'll see this analytic rigor in our investment strategy and also how we work with our clients and our belief of truly understanding the clients that we work with. Um, that's a key component of our process that Tom talked about a little bit earlier. Um, as a result of the research, you can see a plentiful amount of resources and content available to our clients. Tom, could you share an example of just one of the one of the focus areas of our research? Yeah, no, sure, Kristen. So um, if you flip the next slide, so because we have such a focus on making sure women and wealth are properly, you know, cared for and, and, and promoted, we have a section on the website that is devoted exclusively to women and wealth. And you'll see on this page, the website's there. Um, there's so many great things around blogs and podcasts and videos. So, you know, you can, you know, we'll explore different financial tips for female founders, for example, or we'll talk about family engagement matters, making sure everyone's part of the process of, you know, understanding financial goals and decision making. We have a whole section called, we call it thinking out loud, which is a lot of fun. It's typically forums that get set up and if you're ever in the New York area and if we're ever allowed to have more live events, we'll have these events probably three or four times a year. We'll have 300 women in the room. We'll have um, very senior executives. We've had celebrities come in and we'll, we'll interview and just talk about different things. The art of taking risks was a topic we did not long ago and it was just fascinating. We had um, a professional soccer player, one of the gold medalists, talk about, for example, how the grit of being a sports star is so analogous to women founders in terms of what it takes to be successful, the grit and the determination and the teamwork and the organization skills required. We explore so many great topics. And again, you'll find this on the website, the address is here, so please, um, please explore it. And we hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Tom. That is uh, what is exciting is this, this venture where we're going to be able to bring even more to our members. I want to have everybody realize this. We have people that are brand new, just first time they've ever owned a business that are starting off here. And then we have people that have been building for years and are getting ready to, to you know, either retire or pull back a little bit or take a little more time off. So we have all different stages within our membership from around the world. So Kristen, how are you planning to work with all these different stages and different types of people? Nikki, that's a really great question because we, again, we recognize that every family, family, every individual is different, but there are a lot of topics and ideas, plenty, some of the ones that Tom shared earlier related to debt or taxes that truly are pillars for a sound financial plan for families of all shapes and sizes. So we will share articles in programs like this, both on demand and live through the DSWA app. But then we also recognize that some families have really complex financial needs related to wealth transfer throughout the generations, or they have um, uh, an interest in putting together a unique philanthropic strategy, or maybe they have highly concentrated positions within their portfolio, and those may warrant a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So we look forward to engaging with you both in group settings as well as individual conversations, depending on what various needs of the membership are. Thank you so much, Kim, for, for sharing that a bit so they know that, that you're available. And we're going to give you a slide here that's going to give you that contact information. But before that, I want to ask Tom, is there any little bit of advice that you would like to wrap up with or a big tidbit of, of information that will be good for all of us? Absolutely, Nikki. Let me just turn to one last slide here. This is, this is actually my favorite slide in the deck. That's my Starbucks cup of coffee right there. And I think it proves a really cool point around the power of compounded savings over time. And so the, what, what we're showing here is if you had just $10 a week um, going into the market over a period of time, you can see on the right, I always pick the, the best one, which is over a 40 year period, just $10 a week can become $83,000 to support your retirement. And by no means are we suggesting don't have the cup of coffee, instead take the money and invest it. It's the opposite. We're saying just how easy it is to grab a cup of coffee to start your day. It's just as easy to 
pick your number, you know, $10. Hopefully you can even do more than that. But even if it's just $10 a week, the goal is you've got to start saving for your future today. It is the best way to create wealth for you and your family over time. So that is, that is the one takeaway, Nikki. Start saving today for the future. Ah, thank you so much, Tom and Kristen, for all that you did here for us, that you chose to partner with the DSWA and to be part of the direct selling profession. Each of you, no matter where you are in your business or in your life, you maybe right now aren't in a really good financial place. It's the time to learn about our finances and look at the role model we'll be setting for our children and their children and their families to be able to leave a legacy your business, your direct selling business can support and take care of your family for many years to come when we plan properly and we create that wealth and hold on to that wealth and make more money with the money that we made. So now's the time. Get involved and start using the tools that are in the app and follow what's going on with Bernstein. Here's their contact information for both Thomas and Kristen. I really want you to get to know these fabulous people. We chose the best because you are the best. Thanks, everyone, and aloha.